At the New York Times Company, the R&D group's mission is to look around corners. We identify, explore, and demonstrate impending changes in media technology that will impact our business and the customers we serve. Every day, thousands of links to New York Times articles are posted on Twitter. Some of these are retweets of messages our writers and editors have posted, and others are self-initiated. Some mention just the headline and the link, but many offer a short explanation or opinion on the article mentioned. To investigate this data further, we developed a tool we call Project Cascade to visualize sharing activity. This tool illustrates the connections between readers and publishers, helps identify influential contributors to a conversation, and cleanly displays the life cycle of a news sharing conversation in an intuitive way. At its most basic, Project Cascade illustrates activity on the web by representing individual events. These individual events then trigger other, related events. For example, a reader may browse a web page and decide to use Bitly to shorten the URL. These two events are separate, but related. That Bitly shortened URL may then be used in a tweet. As followers of this reader see that tweet and click the link to access the story, it is decoded from its short version into the longer URL, creating several more events to track. By linking these events together into a cascade structure, we get a time-based view of how content is being shared in social space. Project Cascade's visualization tool allows us to view a variety of structures generated through the sharing of New York Times content. To help get a better understanding of the complex data, the tool provides multiple views. We can view a cascade in whole to understand its depth and breadth. And we can zoom in to important events in the cascade to see key points in how the sharing activity unfolded. Complex cascades can also be pruned to show only those key nodes revealing the backbone of the conversation. One piece of content may have several different cascade structures since each cascade is born from a single event. Stories with a lot of sharing activity can result in large, complex cascades. We hope to use this tool to help the New York Times investigate several questions. What is the impact of a single tweet? How much of a conversation occurs in just 140 characters? Are certain people more influential on certain topics? Does the content of the tweet affect its impact on the conversation, and if so, how? What variables, such as time of day or day of week, affect the impact of a tweet? And perhaps most importantly, how can the Times use this information to expand its impact in the conversation, to maintain its position as a news and information leader in this complex environment? R&D will continue refining these tools and our data analysis behind them. Soon, we'll begin working with other publishers and content providers to analyze their data in a similar way to reveal their impact on conversations important to their brands. Ultimately, this tool may be useful to any entity that uses social media to initiate, conduct, or encourage conversation.